What kind of spacesuit will an astronaut wear on Mars? In order to prepare for a future human mission on the Red Planet, scientists are holding tests in order to figure out how to live in near isolation. Staff members and students at the Rhode Island School of Design are working on a new adjustable suit, which is expected to be tested during the next Mars simulation mission inside a dome in Hawaii. We're designing this suit for use at um, high seas, which is a Mars analog. It's a practice of what we'd eventually like to do on Mars. Um, what the suit will do is to help the uh, simulated astronauts there more realistically do their extravehicular activities or EVAs. We're going to turn the Angie Stewart was the chief engineering officer on the last Hawaii space exploration analog and simulation, High Seas, a year-long simulation mission which ended in August. Beyond the technical aspects of the spacesuit, he also found out new important elements. Um, one thing I noticed while wearing the suit today, it's also very isolating. So there's a certain psychological aspect that comes from being isolated from the environment as well that's important that we simulate. Real spacesuits are designed to work in zero gravity. For this reason, they are too heavy to use on an Earth environment, as the NASA-funded Mars Simulation Dome in Hawaii. Another issue with the real spacesuit is the extremely high cost. Even people inside of NASA can't routinely get access to a real spacesuit sometimes. Real spacesuits are millions of dollars a piece. So we really were trying to create something that was affordable. This spacesuit that we built is roughly $10,000 in materials and equipment. The next simulator mission is scheduled in early 2017.